morning, uh, Monday morning. A bit grey, a bit, a bit, what am I saying a bit? It, it's totally uh, solid grey here. Damp, grey, uh, dreary, is it what the Scots call drich? Um, should have gone to the dentist this morning to see the hygienist for a sort of routine checkup. Um, she rang up and cancelled because she's off sick. So I've had to rearrange that. Hence, uh, I've been pottering, been pottering around, doing not a lot. Uh, checking emails, responding to emails, creating Canva images, you know, nothing really serious. Um, but I did think while I was pottering, before I got stuck into uh, anything too serious, um, and just to say like that I'm now waiting for the Tesco delivery, so there wasn't that impetus to get stuck into too much too soon. Um, I thought because I'm planning to do a flash sale on Instagram for Valentine's Day that I would give you a little quick um, show talk uh, of um, what's going to be on sale. Um, as you know, one of my favourite exercises is to do these squares on large sheets of paper just to get my arm going. A bit of a warm up exercise, a bit of a... Right, uh, as we were, um, Tesco man arrived early, so hence slight interruption. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, uh, Valentine's Day sale. Um, yes, going to do on, it's sort of the usual sort of affair that I've done before, going to be on Instagram. Um, and as I say, we if you follow me regularly, you'll know that I, I sort of um, do these sort of small taped off squares as a way of warming up, getting going, trying out colours um marks compositions elements that i like don't like um you know it all helps and adds to to and increases the sort of knowledge about what you like and what you don't like and what works what doesn't work and sometimes some of these are sort of um quite successful uh not all there's some that i sort of look at and i think don't like that uh, but then there are others that are really quite successful and make small sort of artworks in their own right. So what I do is, because this is, um, this paper behind is 300 GSM Sea White of Brighton cartridge paper. I mean, it is quite thick. Um, those of you who watch my demos, you'll know that I do use quite a lot of water, watercolour, inks, granulation fluid. So, you know, it just, they do take quite a lot of punishment. Um, but the ones that work, uh, obviously I'll cut them out uh, and then I mount them onto uh, watercolour paper and this is watercolour paper, it's at least £140, to be quite honest it's whatever I've got apart from the very expensive uh, sheets um, but it's whatever I've got and I never tend to buy anything less than £140 anyway for uh, watercolour because quite honestly anything less than that and it's just going to buckle like bad mad with the amount of fluid that I use as I say. Um, Sorry, these are all a bit shiny because I, I got all organised and put them in, in cellophane wrappers before I sort of thought about taking photographs. Anyway, um, but yeah, so there are a selection of small squares. And I think, you know, I don't know whether these are, I can't think of whether they're six inch. I've got a ruler here, six inch square. I mean, I will put, obviously, photographs of these up so that you can see uh, a bit more without... Ooh, no, not very good at doing this. Um, so there are those ones that are sort of, uh, I think they're six inch square. I don't know now. Must be here, but they look about six inch square. And then there's some ones that are slightly um, larger. I don't know whether that's seven. Um, oops. So if I hold it, obviously you can't see, I can't see where I'm holding it. Um, but there are a selection, there's quite a few. I think all told, overall, there's 19 uh, of these squares. And um, what I'm going to do is usually on Instagram flash sale, I will, I think I've already taken some photographs and they're all the work is a photograph with numbers by the side of them. And... If you'd like to purchase them, you just have to write sold and the relevant number in the comments below. Uh, all my Instagram flash sales are on a first come, first serve basis. So, you know, you snooze, you lose. Um, I just had to take first come. I can't, you know, I can't be saving or 
keeping some back you know just in case whatever it's definitely first come first served um as i say there will be more information in the intervening days but just for um your info to start with these ones um these smaller squares are 25 pounds each that does include uk shipping these larger ones will be 27 pound 50 and that will again include uk shipping um I had to slightly increase the price because the postage has really shot up and um, what i would say is if you are overseas and you would like to purchase please uh, dm me first because there would be an extra shipping charge and you have to bear in mind that i do send everything um tracked well uk to be signed for uh overseas it's usually tracked and signed or tracked whichever uh, service is available to the whichever particular country like i know for australia you can only do tracked you can't do tracked and signed uh but whatever um and that will i usually charge an extra 10 pound for that because you know to be quite honest it varies anywhere from like nine pound to 12 pound something uh, even more for tracked and signed so yeah um it's very noticeable that shipping costs have gone up and also to say that if you are from overseas um and I think it does say on my website that uh, I take no responsibility for any taxes or duties that might be owing once the artwork gets to obviously the uh, receiving country. Um, but yeah, so these are £25 and these will be £27.50. Um, but yeah, and like I say, what I'll do is I'll put images up and they'll all have, run, they'll have numbers by the side of the photographs and you just have to um, write sold and the relevant number in the comments and what happens then is i will uh, obviously thank you and then i will dm you for um your email address via which i will then send you a paypal request um for the relevant amount um but yeah uh it's just you know they make little small works of art people have bought them in you know obviously bought loads in the past and people have sent me images where they've had frames made and put them up and sort of said like oh great small little artworks all by them by themselves um and it's a great way of owning original art at a you know quite affordable price so there you are there's a heads up um gonna be a valentine's day flash sale oh god what is it with me finishing off and doing cheesy grins? See, I was going to do one again. Bye.